Good evening and welcome to our service of night prayer. Again, we come to the one who knows us, to the one who is here. So let's take a moment recognising him with us. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Again, this day we reflect, give God thanks, and leave with him the mess, the undone ends, the tiredness. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Psalm 66, verse 20. Praise be to God who has not rejected my prayer or withheld his love from me. Praise God. He's not rejected my prayer or withheld his love from me. I love this verse. You can understand and think that the psalmist is thinking, maybe I got it wrong with what I prayed. Maybe God should withhold his love from me because I got it wrong. And yet God constantly holds us and loves us. Constantly his love is towards us, but it's us who may turn away. He does not reject our prayers. He always wants us to bring our concerns to him, although he may not answer them in the way we want. Or else he may say, wait, not yet. Or let's refine that prayer. Let's see how desperate you are. He is the one who is always there. He is the one who constantly loves. He alone is worthy of our praise. Not withholding love, not rejecting us, not turning away. Loving God, thank you. Thank you that you bear with us when we get it wrong. Thank you that we don't have to get our prayers in a particularly right way with the right formula. You do not reject our prayers. You hold them, you hear them, and you know the right way forward. We praise you that you invite us and include us in your plans and your purposes. Amen. Be present, O Lord, through the silent hours of this night so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may rest upon your eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, dwell; make us dwell in safety. O God, strengthen your servants with your heavenly grace, 
that we may continue yours forever and daily increase in your Holy Spirit more and more until we come to your everlasting kingdom. Bless you and sleep well.